and welcome to another episode of Five Minutes on the High Seas with my next guest who needs no introductions. Thank you, Vince, for joining me on the deck uh, today. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too. So tell us, I know you've been on multiple jam cruises and do a lot with Positive Legacy and Cloud9. So tell me a little bit about your first jam cruise and how you get to uh, give back all the time. And Well, you know, we did jam, I think we must have done jam cruise three or four way back in the day. And uh, I think this is only our second one. I've been on a couple of by myself as an artist at large and with the Everyone Orchestra and things. But uh, it's it's great. It's a great gathering of people going to some great places. And with Positive Legacy, you know, you get to leave uh, some positive impact of, uh, of your thing. You know, these, you know, these ships and, and the all-inclusive places, you know, are maybe not... Uh, you know, not doing a lot of great good for the economies in the local places. So, with the reaching out with Positive Legacy, we can really do some things. There's a, a school building that was built uh, because of Strength and Soul last year, and an auction they did on some, uh, some paintings and things. Um, you know, it, it's it's important to, to reach out and, and do some things, especially you know here in the Caribbean with storms coming through and and. and so many challenges environmentally, sea rise, all those things. Now we're going to have to really be looking out for each other in the future. And, and music uh, is certainly a, an audience that's aware of that. And, and Positive Legacy does good things to make that happen. I like that. Awesome. So tell me, what can we expect? What's going on with Leftover Salmon these days? Tours, albums? Oh, What's up in the you little know, fish world? We did, uh, uh, I think, 118 shows last year <coughs> and uh, try to. Knock it back to about 100 this year. It's our 30th anniversary. We have a book coming out, Leftover Salmon, 30 Years of Festival. It's coming out next week. Uh, our buddy Tim Newby from Baltimore wrote that one, a historian, and he, he dug in deep uh, into some, some stories. Will that be available on your website or through Amazon, or how can fans find the yeah, book? Yeah, doing pre-orders on Amazon right now, and uh, uh, it'll be through our website, and we're doing a tour uh, where we're promoting the book and, and playing acoustic sitting down and called the living room tour and we tell stories you know maybe some from the book maybe some just pop up uh from you know the, whatever town we're in that night and uh old memories so yeah man we've been doing this 30 years and, and have had just the most fun we could ever imagine having doing it so speaking of fun, you know, I know you have a long history and legacy of association with the dead and some things, so why don't you tell us maybe about your first Grateful Dead show or how they might oh, have man. influenced your music and things like that. Yeah, it was the Stanley Theater in Pittsburgh. I believe it was 1978, maybe 79. Stanley Theater is a great theater and uh, yeah, really just an amazing show. Uh, man, Great ones in Morgantown, West Virginia, uh, uh, Buffalo, Syracuse, Rochester, New Haven, uh, Red Rocks. You know, didn't go to many. Saw the Jerry Band at the Warfield, um, but yeah, just love the band. Played in Grateful Dead bands in college, and uh, you know, did a lot of that kind of stuff. And, and uh, I just love the Dead. You know, probably my my Dead highlight experience was. Uh, going out uh, fishing with uh, Bill Kreutzman in, uh, off Kauai. That was, that was a great day. Did you guys catch a lot of fish? We did, man. <laughs> we, we, we caught a lot of big-eyed tuna and had a, had a big old sushi party the next night. Bill was an incredibly uh, amiable guy, you know, and, and had a big old party at his house, and prepped up all that tuna and sushi, and had a ball, and just a ton of people playing, and. Uh, Cops came, you know, had the lights on and everything. Like, hey, Christmas lights, man. They're, they're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so quick, tell us about some of your musical influences when you're playing in your early years and who were you listening to and what kind of touched you the most? Well, you know, I grew up in Pittsburgh. I like to say Southern Pittsburgh, you know. It was Southern rock for me. You know, the Charlie Daniels band, I think I saw five times before I was out of high school. You know, the Outlaws, Marshall Tucker, Jesse Cohen Young. Big helpings of the dead and, and the Almond Brothers. Traffic. I'm the youngest of seven kids, so I, you know, I grew up uh, with the you know, Motown, Stax Bolt, and all that stuff in my ears. And then the British Invasion, and, and then kind of uh, somewhere on that path, I discovered live bluegrass music and old time music, and, 
and that just captured my heart and soul. But went to school in, in uh, Morgantown, West Virginia. Dug in deep to the bluegrass and old timey community there, and uh, you know brought together that rock and roll and, and old time kind of thing and leftover salmon. Uh, and man, it's just been really, really good to us. And, uh, and it's been good to us too, as the fans. We can't thank you enough. So a few quick, fast round questions. What are you currently listening to in the car? What's on uh, your playlist these days? Lori Lewis's uh, uh, Hazel Dickens tribute record has just been in, in my my ears a lot. Uh, Nako's new new uh, new record. Um, what else? Uh, we listen to some Los Lobos. Um, yeah, you know. It's, Getting all kind of stuff in my ears. What's your favorite color? Blue. What's your favorite food? Man, uh, I'm gonna have to go with uh, uh, man food. That's a tough question. All right, man. we'll skip that one because we're almost out of time. Right. And my last question is: If you were stuck on a desert island and had one song you'd had to listen to over and over and over, what would it be? Jackson Brown, the Pretender. All right. Well, thank you again for your time. We're here on Jam Cruise 17, reporting from the sea. Have a great day. Woo! Woo!